Okay, this DVD is on game development, how to develop your grappling game. You have to assess your game into different uh, levels. One would say maybe positioning. Where am I in positioning? What level am I in positioning? Maybe at cross body or cross side or yoko shihogatami. Maybe at that position I would be a brown belt level. Maybe at north and south I would be a blue belt level. Maybe at the guard position I would be a purple belt level. Maybe at mount maybe I'm a black belt level. And maybe at keizugatami I'm a white belt level. So you have to assess your game and you have to break it up that way in order to get it really strong. So if you don't do that and you just wrestle all the time, you're not really assessing or you're actually not being honest with yourself. You're not assessing your game and saying, what do I really need to work on? Is my positioning good? Can I control good? Yeah, great. Okay, now what about your escapes? Can you, how's your ability to escape and get out of positions? Is that good? And how's your ability to attack? Is your ability to attack good? or is it mediocre? So you, that way you actually assess your game and figure out what is important and what you need to really work on. Be honest with yourself, that's the best way to train and to get better. There's 10 portions to this training. The first will be called egoless. Egoless means there's no ego. It means that we're just slapping hands and we're getting on the mat and rolling really light just to warm our bodies up. Okay, I'll bring in Dave Miller. Okay, we just start to play. It doesn't matter what we do. I don't care what position I'm in. It doesn't matter. I'll just play and I'll do things maybe that I that I would not normally do. And uh, I just want him to move on me. And then it's like 50, 60 percent. I just move and play. So it's like make-believe. I'm pretending like I'm wrestling. I'll go through some techniques possibly that I might normally use for real. She is just to relax and have fun and just play. So the key on this type of training, it doesn't matter what you catch, what you give your partner, what he does wrong, what you do wrong, there's no wrong or right, it's just you're playing, you're moving, you're warming up. This is your warm up, you have to act like you have the flu because you don't wanna put any effort, you just wanna relax and just roll around. Let your body move and feel the essence of movement. Okay, the portion of this game is called crushing. Crushing is also known as pinning or grinding your body weight into them. 
The reason I'm doing this now is because my partner here is huffing and puffing. I can see he's tired, so for me, this is an easy portion to take the life out of him. I'm gonna grind him and crush him into the mat. And it's done by placing all my body weight on about, well, one portion of my body and about one to two portions on his. So I'm gonna keep my hips off the mat, stay on my tippy toes, and put all the pressure in one spot. Obviously, I can't do that when I'm underneath him, so I'm gonna to have to turn him over. So, so if I'm starting from my hands and knees, I'm gonna do all I can to put him on his back. My head control plays a major portion in this game of not allowing him to come on top, stable as a table, strong as a rock. And what I'm gonna do is just turn him down, and now I'm gonna stay on him. My weight's down on the mat. Keep going, keep moving. Down on the mat. Notice, look at my hips, they're real low. A floating game is my hips are up, my weight's on my knees. Three postures. One is 50%. That's like this. I'm just giving him a structure so he can move. If I'm coaching him, this is what I'm going to do. If I want to train him a little more, I'll put 50, to, I would put probably 75% of my weight on him now, and I would make him move to escape. This one is all my weight, 100%. I'm keeping my hips on the floor, I'm staying on my tippy toes. I'm gonna crush him as much as I can. I'm just gonna show you a crush, more of a, what we call a crushing game. So, you can see, that game is not very nice. It's not a very nice game. It's based on pinning, crushing, and taking the life out of my partner. 